good morning class so today we'll be doing the book exercises of chapter 18 that is prepositions now the very first exercise is circle the prepositions in the following sentences so what are you supposed to do you have to just read all these 10 sentences and wherever you find there is a preposition you have to circle them Preposition children, you already know that they are the words that show the relation between a noun or pronoun and some other words in a sentence. Like in, on, of, from, beside, behind, they all are what? They are the prepositions. So if you are finding any such word, you have to circle them right so let's start she is proud of her handwriting so here it is of we should not quarrel with one another with why did you come late from school from he came and sat beside me beside what did you hide behind your back behind Leaves fell off the trees. Off. Don't gather around the patient. Around. He sat at the table and completed his work. At. It is quarter to two by my watch. By. They stayed at village during holidays. So, here it is at and here in ninth one two is also a preposition now choose the correct option and fill in the blanks now in the bracket you can see two prepositions are given like at in on off so whatever is suitable you have to write here like the train stopped in the platform or at the platform? The correct answer is at. Right? Suman is fond of chocolates. Whenever the word is fond, fond means she likes. Usko achhi lagti hai. So fond, always we are using preposition of. The teacher went into or in the staff room. Now see, if you know or if you remember, in means inside and into there is a movement when something is going inside. So here what is happening? Went. Went is the past tense. So that means teacher ja chuki hai. So we'll be using the teacher went in the staff room. Please chop the vegetables with a knife. The vegetables were chopped by mother. Okay. I am looking for my lost keys. I am looking at the blackboard. The plane was flying above the clouds. Because on is used when the two things are touching each other. So clouds and plane, they are not touching. So it will be above. The shop. Dash my school was closed beside. Right? Now next one is the girl swam above the river or across the river. Now a cross word is used to go on the other side. So we will be using across. They left at or for the airport half an hour ago. They left for the airport. Divide the prize money. All the participants. So it is all. That means more than two. So we'll be using among. Divide the amount. Two equal parts. So divide the amount into two equal parts. Divide the sweets. Between both the girls. Both means two. So it will be between. The tree was cut. By the woodcutter. And he cut the tree with an axe. 
this bus shuttles between Agra and Delhi. Shuttles means it goes up and down. So Agra and Delhi are two places. So we'll be using between. This bus moves from Agra to Delhi. Clear? See, prepositions will be children more clear as you are using them. Right? Now fill in the blanks with suitable preposition. Now in this case, in bracket, prepositions are not given. You have to just read the sentence and based on, on your understanding, you have to fill it. So let's start. I was dash China last year. In China. Okay. I stayed in China from January to July. In and from. He wakes up at 6 a.m. and goes to a park. For a morning walk. Look at the camera and smile. Children should not go near fire. The cat jumped over the wall. Please sing a song for us. Would you pass the salt to me please? We waited for him but he did not come. She always sits with her best friend in the class. He wakes up early in the morning and sleeps late at night. He was born in 2009. With year we are using in and with dates we are using on. So he was born on 22nd June 2009. He was born at Jaipur in Rajasthan. Now see children. When two places are given, then the place that is smaller, we are using at. So, if you see Jaipur and Rajasthan, Rajasthan is a state and Jaipur is a city that is in Rajasthan. So, Rajasthan is big and Jaipur is small. So, with Jaipur, you'll be using at and for the bigger place, you'll be using in. So, he was born at Jaipur in Rajasthan. I go to school by car, but my friend goes on foot. Now, few things are given in your books. So, let me explain you. This will help you a lot in solving the exercises. Some words are followed by particular preposition. Like you have to learn them as such so that you are able to solve the exercises. Agree with a person and agree to a proposal. Agar kisi person ki baat ho rahi hai, then we use agree with. With preposition ka use hoga. But agar koi non-living thing hai, koi proposal hai, koi decision hai, then we will be using I agree to your decision, I agree to your proposal. Right? Angry with person and angry for some reason. So, agar aap kisi se gussa hai, with any person, then you will be using with. And if there is a reason for your anger, then we will use for. Same way, Agar aap kisi se annoyed hai, then also with annoyed word we are using with a person and annoyed at something kisi cheez pe gussa hai, so that is at. Complain to a person, like I'll complain to principal, right? So that is complain to, hum jab kisi se complain karenge, kisi ki shikayat, then we'll be using complain to and jiske Against karenge, so complain against a person. Right? That means kiske khilaf. Divide something between two people. Divide it among more than two person and divide into parts. So when you are dividing something. So when there are two persons, you will be using preposition between. When there are more than two, you will be using among. But if you are dividing something into parts. Like if you remember in previous slides there was sentence divide the amount 
into two equal parts. So when you are dividing in parts, then you will be using preposition into. With faithful, you will be using two. Faithful two. Famous for. Famous for some quality. So you will be using for. With fond, you are always using of. Grateful, adjective ke saath, you are using to or grateful for something. Jealous of. Jealous means, kisi se irsha karna. So I am jealous of a person, of you. With junior and senior, we are using junior to, senior to. Proud of, like jealous of, same way proud of. Similar to, with similar we are using to, waiting for, wonder at something. So you have to learn these, that with these words you have to use these certain prepositions, right? Now coming to tip of the day. This we have already covered somewhere in our previous class, but still let's do that. At is used to denote definite point of time and indefinite periods of time like at 2 o'clock at the end of the meeting so when there is specific time then also we are using at like at 2 o'clock at evening at night but sometimes at indefinite period of time also we are using at like at the end of the meeting that means whenever the meeting ends meeting kitne baje khatam hogi we never know but whenever it ends so that is at the end of the meeting right at christmas on is used with days and dates. This we have already done. In is used with part of the day, month, like in October, in November, in January. With year, like in 2016, with seasons, in winter, right? Between is used with two persons or thing. Among is used with more than that. At is used with small towns. Villages and in is used with larger areas, bigger towns, cities, states and countries. So when this confusion happens when there are two places mentioned in the same sentence. At that time you have to decide which one is bigger and which is smaller. So with smaller you have to use at and with bigger you have to use in. From denotes the starting point of an action like from Agra to Bareilly and to usually the end point of the action or till or until. So he stayed here from 2012 to 2015. Your practical exam will be held from 9 to 11. So from tells you about the start of the action and to that is jab tak wo khatam hoga, till or until, right? So that is all. Do all the exercises in your book. Thank you.